each and every one of us is benefiting in ways that we don't even begin to understand from wetlands and other other natural areas on the landscape. If you're living inside the greater Toronto area, wetlands are not necessarily something you're going to think about a lot, but those wetlands are absolutely critical to even the most urban of urban areas like the GTA. Wetlands um, help to control and mitigate the impacts of flooding. They also serve to, to sequester carbon. They filter our water. They provide wild foods and medicines. They provide habitat for wildlife. And of course, they provide immense recreational opportunities for people as well. Wetlands are one of the most biodiverse areas in Ontario. Not only is it great for species, it's also great for recreation. These guys behind me are fishing here on the Humber River, an urban wetland. In Southern Ontario alone, our wetlands produce over $51 billion of benefits per year. So you can say, oh, it's just a swamp, but you need to understand what our swamps and bogs and marshes do for us. They're immensely important, and, and those benefits have an economic value as well as a cultural, social, ecological value. Wetlands are very important for urban areas because they help reduce flooding. When you get a storm dropping tremendous amount of rain onto a city like Toronto, all of that water comes off the asphalt and concrete very fast into the rivers. Those rivers rise very quickly, you can get flooding. But if you add some wetlands into that system, what happens instead is a slow release of that water so you don't get the severe flooding problems on rivers. In southern Ontario, we've lost as much as 70% of our naturally occurring wetlands. If you get into Toronto or the Niagara region, that number jumps to 90%. If you care about wildlife, if you care about climate change, if you care about these things, biodiversity, then you should care about wetlands. If, if you're too narrowly scoped on you personally, then perhaps you won't see it. For all these reasons, we need to take conserving wetlands, protecting wetlands in Ontario seriously. And this is what we have to look at and figure out ways that we can conserve the wetlands we go forward in time.